guys, this is Jake, and welcome to episode 2 of my Unity 3D environment creation series. In this tutorial, we are going to be bump mapping our terrain, which in case you don't know what that is, that's a way to add realism when it comes to lighting in your terrain, and it helps add a lot to your texture. So the program we're going to need is Crazy Bump. It's available at crazybump.com. You can download it for both Mac and Windows, and it will just install like a regular application. So we're going to open that up and we're going to select our cliff texture that we're going to be normal mapping. And as you remember, that is the cliff layered rock texture. So we're just going to search that up and open it. And we don't want to texture our grass textures because that just doesn't work out well because they're so small and detailed. But cliffs are big and exciting and so it's easier to normal map those. So we're going to generate our normal map and we're going to save the file to our desktop and then we're going to import that into our terrain assets a, a folder where we have all our textures stored from the last video so let's just do that here quick and that'll import and what we're going to want to do after that is we're going to want to mark it as a normal map and I'm going to show you how to do that here in the inspector so we're going to want to change it from the texture setting to the normal map setting and we're going to want to uncheck create from grayscale because that will uh, mess up the texture and then we're going to hit apply and it will mark it as a normal map and then we're going to want to go to a uh, game object and create other and we're going to want to create a light so that way a uh, normal mapping will actually take effect and we're going to want to put the lights transform position and rotation all at zero so we can move it to where we want it. And I'm just going to move it to a spot that I like here in a second. And let's just move it. It's sort of a diagonal angle uh, coming onto the terrain and that should look pretty good. Here, let's just rotate it a little bit and move it up and then rotate it down. There we go. Okay, so that's starting to look pretty good. Okay, so now we're wanna, gonna zoom in on our cliff texture so you can see normal mapping as it takes effect. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna go into our terrain assets folder and we're going to create a new material for our terrain so we're going to want to go to create and then material and that and you want to right click the terrain assets folder and that will create the material inside that folder i already have one but we're going to do another one for this tutorial so you know how to go through the process so let's delete the one that i don't need we're going to change the material from diffuse to nature to terrain to bumped specular and we're going to want to change the specularity color to black or else the terrain will be shiny when you apply this material to it so we're going to want to go to terrain and in our terrain skip script we're going to go to the options tab and we're going to drag in our material into that material slot and as you can see that um changed a uh, the sort of tint of the terrain and if we bring up the material to white you can see right there that it um makes it a little more shiny and now we're going to begin the normal mapping process. So we're going to go into our terrain script and go to the paint section of it. We're going to hit edit the text edit texture once we've selected our um, our cliff. And then we're going to drag in our normal map into that normal map slot where it says edit texture from our terrain assets. And then after that, I'm going to change the um, tint of the light. A little bit so it's a little more like the sun a little more warm and inviting we'll get into aesthetics later in this tutorial series and we're just going to change the rotation and as you can see now the cliff is affected by lighting it, it gives it a little more 3d effect and so let me just again after i've adjusted all these lighting AI options just to show you the before and after of what happens when you apply a normal map so we're just going to do this and let's go back into our terrain and show you guys what happens 
let's just find a better setting so you can really see the difference and so we're gonna edit the texture again and then remove it and as you can see it just basically makes it look like you glued a paper with a texture to a wall and slapped it on there but once you put the normal map on it makes a, a lot better three-dimensional effect and that's it for now guys I'm sorry this tutorial couldn't be longer but I hope you enjoyed it I know that I'm having a great time doing these tutorials for you guys and until next time have a good one